taken the time to listen to this recording and that you're doing so in the right way for you at this moment. Please enjoy. If I say the word beauty to you, what does it conjure up for you? Oh, that's, that, that is actually not as easy as what it sounds because beauty is just in the eye of the beholder. That's what I was always taught. Um, you can look at something that could be actually, you could think it was an object, it was ugly, but I could think it's actually beautiful. That's because your mind could work totally different to mine. Um, but beauty portrayed as someone, as, as a person, is usually one of these like supermodel type who is the perfect size zero. Um, they've got no wrinkles, no spots, all their own teeth, and they're not cockeyed and things like that. That is what a lot of people um, define as beauty. But I have to get to know somebody to whether I find that they are beautiful, not in looks, but in personality, because that to me, is a lot of what brings the beauty out in a person. Um, boy George, um, Quiggins is a shop in Liverpool that was like lots of little stalls that was all subculture and like very um, lo-fi, like, like really like theatres where you only fit about 20 people into the room and everything's fallen apart and everything's put together with um, like gaffer tape, that sort of thing, because it feels really honest. And people who look like a theatre that's been put together with gaffer tape, um, that, yeah, things that are like broken and it doesn't matter if they're functioning or not functioning because no one's thinking that way. It doesn't, it doesn't conjure up a person specifically or an image. It, to me, I think of beautiful moments, like what I said earlier, when I think of my niece running towards me with her arms out or seeing my mom laugh, that's when I think of beauty, that's what I think. So I'm like, wow, that is beautiful. My mom is a beautiful woman, but it's not because she's pretty, she is, but that's not why she's beautiful. She's beautiful because she's got a kind heart. She's beautiful because she's strong. She's there for everyone always. It's nothing to do. What's on the outside, she is beautiful, but that's not what comes into the word beauty for me. Um. And when I'm somewhere like I, I well, used to, because we've had COVID, but used to spend a lot of time in uh, Travel Lodge and bloody Premier Inn. And Travel Lodge um, the, uh, from Torrent and the the picture above the bed, I'm <laughs> so distraught about this. The picture above the bed in Travel Lodge um, rooms is the same everywhere. Uh, there's the exact same picture and it's just like a red sort of circle and it just could not be more meaningless. I tried so hard to put meaning into it, just sat there bored. Um, and that's definitely like a lack of beauty, <laughs> is that. <laughs> it just feels like it's just, it's not from any human. It's, you know, it just, yeah, it sort of kills me soul. But then I come back, then I go into a, a kind of like old school charity shop who hasn't learned to put all the colours together yet and just puts it all everywhere. Um, and the pricing is all crazy like that. And I feel happy again, you know, like on tour, it's fine a charity shop <laughs> and I have a gab with the woman. And it's like, even though it's, small, it's kind of small talk, it's weird small talk and sort of encapsulates her, her whole life, <laughs> like in one bit. So that, then I feel, then I feel okay again. Um, was the answer to that meant to be a don't know? <laughs> uh, when I think of the word beauty, I think of how society views beauty. And that conjures up so many different elements. For example, um, how somebody perceives you. So you think of yourself as 
beautiful by putting on your makeup every day or um, doing your hair or getting ready. Those things are counted as beautiful. But also beauty for me lies within who you are as a person. So it lies within yourself and your beliefs and your morals and your that's clusters beauty for me and um, I think beauty can make somebody change their appearance to, to how society views beauty honestly what other people's uh, mine I think it doesn't matter what you look like it's internal and it doesn't matter other people's beauty is probably what you see on the tv but mine is is in our it's how you feel in yourself and how you think you look no matter what anyone else thinks I'm saying that but it's hard to actually feel like that what do you think it is about ourselves that stop us from feeling beauty in ourselves I think because you're never happy doesn't matter bus size dress size whatever you're never happy yeah okay don't I it's really it's a hard one that because it's you immediate I immediately think of like magazines like Vogue and pretty girls in tiny dresses and high heels but then it's like that's the first thought. And then all of the rest of them are like, no, like um, tattoos and individuality. They are. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're doing, when the word beauty is said to us, what do we immediately think of? It's a hard one, isn't it? Well, I guess it would be if I'm listening to the socially conforming person that's exactly what I said. or the who I want to be yeah, person. That's exactly what I said. Because it's like society makes you think that beauty means like full face of makeup, long lovely hair, mm. or being muscular and wearing a yeah. wife beater kind mm. of thing. Muscular, like, short hair, you know, the right kind build. Of thing. But if I was listening to myself, it's anything. Colour. Anything. Um, Colour, how to individuality, makeup, but not traditional makeup and it doesn't matter what body size no anything it's the socially conforming side that makes you think skinny muscular Mm. but then if beauty to me is everything no matter what shape size color you are you could be a blue hexagon and i'd find you beautiful Mm. i think people can have so many like preconceptions and judgments of a person just based off one thing that they might be able to see or know whereas if you've got someone just their voice and you can hear that person talking and about their values and their morals and what they stand for that's like you could think in your head I could imagine that most people 99.9 percent of people would imagine the person very different to what that person actually looks like just based on how they speak because if someone sounds nice and like friendly you would expect it to be a sort of very clean small shy looking cute person with no tattoos and no make whatever and yet it would probably actually be the complete opposite and you would expect just from not me personally but I know from other people you would think that someone who was going to be a bit rough around the edges they might be covered in tattoos piercings you might think that they might be a bit sort of more standoffish and they're probably actually the lovelier person of the two. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this dialogue. If you would like any more information about the other podcasts, they're all available um, in the attachments from this podcast. And I please, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to any feedback that you may have about them. Thank you again so much.